brothers welcome back to dummy nation today we're gonna be playing as the most upvoted country in the last video i'm not sure which one it was the most upvoted one of them i've already forgotten but we're gonna be playing as a country of laos now laos is expert level start which i do agree with it is a rough start has no sea access has no real military to speak of let's go ahead and stop time 140 best gdp 103rd best population gdp per capita is nice and high so that is good for us military power is 108 so we actually start with troops 1.8 million that is great we have a million in the bank so that is very nice for us we also start off as communist which is gonna be really good we're getting some extra troops out there for nice and cheap so let's go ahead and order a couple units of these guys let's actually split this up a little bit so we can manage our expectations a little bit get that and then we can get a thousand tanks let's go ahead and get a little bit more than that let's say about 100 ah, 116 is good get um 280 rockets that's fine and then as far as research goes we're going to put three points into combat training and then we're also going to match the three points into reactive armor knowing that we're going to need to be a bit of a military guy and we're going to take this army down right away how much is your military 1.5 we're going to take this military down right away. Cambodia is really the only way we're going to get out other than Myanmar. Both are going to be difficult for us because we're going through such mountainous terrain. It's going to be hard for us to kind of move about. And we need sea access if we're going to win the game. So ideally, we'd wait for our troops to get through. But the chances of that happening before somebody attacks Cambodia is low. Let's also go ahead and fix our budget. Bring that all up. Boom. And then now that we've spent our money, we're going to go ahead and switch to an autocracy. You know what? We'll stay as communism this time. Let's take communist. Let's just take a look at what our communist standing is. So mobilize troops, reducing training time. Budget spending by 20% is not going to be useful. So we're going to take that down to about 10%. We're going to bring this down to, we'll take it down to here. Now we might have to switch later on, but I'm kind of hoping that we can make the leap straight from communism to fascism. But having extra troops in the meantime is not a bad thing. And again, we'd really like to attack Cambodia. It'd be great if Vietnam or Thailand attacked them first and not like a China. And speaking of China, can we get an alliance with you? I don't imagine we have many friends. That would cost about a million. Do we have any friends? No, China is our closest friend, but we do not have any friends. We need to be a little bit cautious about our military. So let's go ahead and speed up time here. Try and grab some more military forces and potentially attack Cambodia. Right, we have 7 million against their 1.5. I'm going to go ahead and jump the shark a little bit and attack Cambodia. We have more... They have more rockets than us, but I, I think this is worth going into right away to get this. We did lose it. We did lose about half our military to get this, but now we have sea access. Boom. Doesn't really help our economy out. And actually, we're going to lose even more than that. Oof, we almost lost our entire military. Fortunately for us, we remain communist, so we'll be able to reinforce these numbers. But we need to make sure that nobody attacks us in the short term. Otherwise, we're going to be quite an easy target. Okay, did some alliance hunting. India is going to be the cheapest at 24. So that needs to be our mark. We need an ally right now. So we're going to save up and hopefully get up to 24 here rather quickly. Although our economy is not growing very high, very much. Let's bring this down a little bit. Just, just whatever we can get because we need that 24. It's kind of fluctuating up and down. Oh, we're getting close. But we need that ASAP. Okay, we can get the alliance with India. Good. We're safe for a brief moment. Our defensive power is now 47 million, which pushes us to 87th in the world. So not exactly the best, but hopefully should protect us because I think like, yeah, people will go after Papua New Guinea and such. I'm going to wait for our full military to get up before we do anything drastic and just kind of see if we can pick off some nice big targets for very cheap. All right, so full military power. We have 11 million. Again, needing to be very careful with how we deploy this as we would like a big target. What was New Zealand again? 3 million? 51st best GDP. We're the 87th. Would it be worth losing that amount of troops to get New Zealand? I don't know. I think we're still a target, so I'm a little bit cautious about leaving our little bay. I think we'd be patient for right now. Oh, 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 we've got our pick of the litter. South Korea and Japan just fought. Do any of you have big allies? You don't. You don't. You're 2 million. You're 6 million. You're the fourth best GDP. You're the 13th. Honestly, I saw some of Japan's armies going over there. So I think we'd catch them while they were split. I think we go into Japan right away. I think this is a worthwhile gambit. This will really boon us in economy. It will cost us a lot of troops as they have a lot of rockets. You are just so much weaker. I think we go South Korea. I think we play the safe gambit here. And we go after South Korea. Oh, right when Russia's armies goes through. Yeah, I'm glad. There, our entire army was right there. So I'm glad we didn't. And we quickly took over South Korea. Very nice. Okay, so that is all ours now. We're making 500 a tick now. That is a nice upgrade for us. We jump up to the 13th best GDP off that. So a nice little coup for us. We could potentially 
slingshot into Japan. They still have 6.5. We're down to 6.98. So I don't think that's worth it anymore. I think we take what we got and be happy with it. And what is our exchange rate at? 61%. It would be great to get an alliance with China. They want 2.7 million. United States is at 750. Still pretty expensive. Argentina is going down. Could we jump over there? They don't have a military, right? No. And their diplomacy is uh, like Vatican City and such. No, this is a good target for us. We need to jump over here and grab this right away. Okay, the capital is still available. So let's go for that. This is Thailand. Oh, Thailand's joined us over here. That's funny. Ooh, is Pakistan dead? Pakistan's dead. We can sliver over there, grab some of their economy. We did get a little bit of reinforcements along the way. We got about 200,000 more troops, which really didn't strengthen us too much, but we're up to 8 million firepower now. Does Pakistan still have any good economic zones left? I mean, this region, absolutely. So that's where we're going to be targeting. Don't go through India. Just go through the ocean. Russia's declared war on us. Ooh, probably should have checked allies ahead of this. Russia, cheap peace treaty, but still money that we didn't need to lose. Africa's main mostly untouched, which is uh, quite interesting. What is our GDP per capita at this point? 50. A little high, a little high. But we have a million in the banks. So let's go ahead and get a million's worth of tanks. We desperately need tanks. I think we only have currently 500, 400 in service. So that is not great for us. Let's get an alliance treaty with Russia. It was only about 15 million. That will protect us. Did someone just declare war on us? Andorra. All right, well, I don't anticipate in seeing them anytime soon. Can we make sure to walk not through India? I know they're our friend, but there's no need to challenge that. Oh, we missed Myanmar. That's a darn shame. We'd love to be able to jump on that, but you don't win them all. We're still making 700 a tick, which is good for us. Our total military strength is 6 million, which is less than when we started when we started fighting down Pakistan. But Pakistan brought us up about 200 a tick, a little bit more. So kind of worth it at the end of the day. Okay, now, now that we finished up with pakistan we need to go home for a bit military not that strong and we need it to be a lot higher for the next kind of big moves that we make the next move we make we want to be able to take out like a russia or a japan and be able to split and we're not gonna be able to do that with six million we're basically going to need to double our troops here It'd really be nice if we could bump up our exchange rate we have an alliance with russia and india but we don't border either of them we really need one with china nine million yeah they they're just ridiculous they want ridiculous amounts of money but we do have 10 points in economic research so we can get that cheapening of future economic researches by 18 percent and start working our way towards smart taxation our military is up to 11 million but we're trying to bump these tank numbers up a little bit in fact how many could we get for a thousand we'll count it take it it's good enough Ooh, india and thailand are fighting hold on let's try and see where we would like land I mean, obviously right there it would be nice to take out Thailand, honestly, just so we have an easier way of getting in and out of our country. There are 4 million. I don't think it's worth it right now, but we will jump on this if another country invades. We'll buy, our, buy ourselves some time to keep bumping up our military. Oh, here they come. Okay. As soon as they engage, let's get over here. As soon as they engage, we're going to go hard into Thailand. There they go. Are they going to win this battle though? Oh, they're leaving. Let's go. Try and get the capital. We split our army. Kind of. Oh, we have the multiple up. That's fine. Give me the capital. Oh, we, we, we split it. We split it right down the middle, I think. Yeah, we got the lion's share, but we definitely did split it. That's fine. This is going to make it so much easier for us to be able to get in and out of our country. Having Thailand. I did not think this was going to happen. What a pipe dream come true. And we really didn't lose too many troops to do it, which is also another, another benefit. Oh, Thailand got adventurous. They're in a few spots. Oh, you know where they're also at? Down here. Yeah, India's already there. Ooh, but China, India are now fighting. There goes my, there goes my hero. Oh, but we can get an alliance treaty with China. Let's buy that. That's very cheap. That'll help us out a lot. Exchange rate goes up to 69%. That's huge. Now we can just kind of freely grab the rest of Thailand without having to worry ourselves about India and China fighting. We can kind of pick off the, the loser of that one if we want to. Here, let's just send this army back home to quell these rebels. We lose out to the Bahamas for the rest of La Thailand, but it's been defeated. So now we're sitting pretty. What are we at now? We are the ninth best GDP, 18th best military power, which means we're going to be able to really start honing in some money. Making a thousand to tick now is going to be very nice for us. So here's another one. Japan has been fighting India. If they we can continue to weaken themselves up, I would love to just jump in on, on Japan. They haven't made any friends. They would be a nice, easy target, but I don't really want to risk our military in the current state. India still has a military. It would be great if these two fought more. It looks like Japan is sending more of a military to fight somebody. Man, I would really love to go into Japan, but look at those rockets, brother. That would decimate all of my tanks. This is a big army. That's most of their rockets fighting India. So if they lose this, we're going to Japan. There they go. 
that's all the rockets let's get some tanks really quickly i think that's japan's army basically decimated no they still have seven thousand left is it there most of it's there half of it's there if this army falls we're in a good spot heavy rockets can be countered with commandos okay so we need to invest in commandos good to know they just have like a little bit of tanks that will shield the rockets like i know we could win it but at what cost especially while japan is still going into india i don't want to i want to wait a little bit to see how far they're going to take this okay that army's dead how much do they have left Oof. let's get a few more commandos and i think it's our time all right we have our commandos let's risk it a small japanese army's over here which means their full army won't be in tokyo just double checking alliances nobody okay good let's go let's go fight them down fight them down how we doing it's a big battle they still have a lot of rockets oh we're, we destroyed it their army's not here how's our army looking we lost about three million firepower that's perfectly fine for the economy that we're gonna get we'll just kind of wait to see where the rest of their army is there's some of it over there we don't have eyesight on the bigger army though they got about two million firepower left i'm gonna take the risk and split because i'm worried that others are gonna come over here and try and snag some of this land from us and i desperately want all of japan forget about the island for right now let's grab the mainland here's their big army okay let's consolidate everybody together what do they have they have rockets let's try and find some terrain let's try and fight them here oh they're fighting us down there okay well, let's just take the fight to them I, I i we're gonna win that's just about losing they're running away okay well then let's just continue to keep taking the rest of japan i think they're going for our mainland oh that would be a little bit unfortunate but in all honesty i would trade laos for japan now they're going to pakistan i don't think so they're coming looks like they're coming right for us and here's our fight take them down okay great they're defeated we lost a little bit more troops than we would like but now we have free reign on grabbing the rest of japan oh china's taking some of the places i want this army's not ready but i'm you know what let's bring down this army we would like some of this i'm just gonna take you and tell you to fight the reason i really want this part of thailand is just for ease of access in and out of our own country so if we want to go to the west we now have a better option here go down south and fight that army not to mention there's some good economic zones down here Oh, and we have our first level of smart taxation. We completely missed it. That's fine. We were dealing with uh, Japan at the time, which definitely required a little bit more of our intellectual attention. But getting Japan out of here now puts us pretty sharply on the leaderboard as third place overall. Obviously, going to be a while before we could ever catch up to China or the or, yeah China or the United States at 38 and 51 percent respectively. So, but we can take this military. You know, the money that we have and build a strong military so things are looking good for us unfortunately missed out on brazil i don't see a way through unless we attack peru they're still the 19th best gdp what is your you have 7 million oof that would be kind of a rough one to push through here let's grab all of our forces can we attack brazil no that doesn't count we could attack venezuela who doesn't have any troops though so maybe we do that let's gather everybody bring them over Ooh, hold on russia's fighting down mexico mexico doesn't have any troops ninth versus 33rd everyone's kind of chilled out on brazil for a second so i'm going to do the same and try and grab mexico let's try and aim for the capital although it looks like mexico's capital has been nuked or something it's gone that's a little awkward well we'll still grab it they're the ninth best gdp but they don't have any cities that's weird and we can get another level of smart taxation boom economy should be starting to to really rumble upwards we're not making a lot but i think this is a economic downturn for everybody it is in fact whenever you look at your expenditures and your growth rate it's less than a percentage always check the global rankings to see if it's a re global recession which is in fact what's going on right now missed brazil that's unfortunate we traded it for for mexico it might have been the wrong decision looking back because we could have gotten venezuela and mexico we still can get venezuela but we'll finish off mexico first play a little bit of a slow game here okay let's take this new army and let's just go attack venezuela right away let's try and capitalize on our wins and get to get more wins now india is still on the table obviously attacking india is a little bit of a rough go we'll lose a lot of troops doing it but it is something that we at some point need to consider by the way did you have friends you were friends with china but we're friends with china and you were friends with mexico and we've already fought them did that hurt our relationships no it did not great is mexico defeated yes okay great so we can take all of our armies and just immediately go into venezuela together dang 464 that's a lot that was like two million dollars worth but that's a lot of troops right there i think once we have all these troops done i think this is going to be the point we have to go into india russia's knocking on the door of some of their real economic zones okay the economy map is just broken that's what's going on the economy map is broken in this game it has broken 
it is not showing any of the cities so this map is now useless to us which is quite unfortunate but india's big economic zones are like right here and rush is knocking on the door to that so we want to be able to knock that down quickly so once we finish up with the rest of venezuela's africa holdings we're going to move all of our troops over here to india and get ready for a fight with them and we did lose our alliance with china let's try and get that back yeah, that's pretty cheap to get that back. That's good. And when China's going to try and cut us off from the one spot we want, let's go ahead, grab our troops, put them together. We have 40 million, mostly wrapped up in commandos, which is what we need for India. So let's start splitting and pushing. And we're just going to slingshot our way up here into this valley, block China from grabbing it, at least from this side. Obviously, they can still go through the, the uh, whatever these mountains are called. I completely forgot, but where Everest is, that'll be a little bit rougher of a challenge for them, and we can make sure to get most of their econ uh, India's economy. And we have enough 4.1 to finish up smart taxation. Boom. Now we can start going into the much more important self-sufficient economy once we get another 8.2 out there. That'll take a little bit, but we're now doing really well for ourselves. Still third in GDP, 5.8 in money per tick. Obviously, that will increase more when we finish off India. We'll have to kind of wait and see, but things are progressing rather well for us. The Himalayas. Thank you. Yeah, I could not remember what that mountain was called. Mountain range. Ooh, this army is like dead. Wow, our armies have been heavily depleted. Look at that. We started with like 40 million. We're down to 17. So we lost about half our army just getting this little bit of India. So we're going to relax for a little bit, bring over this army. We want to make sure our army stays up high. I mean, the money we're making is great, but the cost is just outrageous in terms of troops and lives. So let's take this a little bit slow and just have one army do everything. It's definitely a bad one to have to overcome later. China is rather weak, though. I mean, 3,000 tanks? Hold on everybody home let's get ready for a war with china once we get these last rockets out we'll be able to afford a lot more tanks and i think this is our time to strike china they don't have any rockets they barely have any mil military we could really make a good push here and grab china and go for the end game let's get those tanks out there we get three thousand more all right there's our army 51 million let's get up to the bay let's not walk through their land it's a little bit rude don't you think to be like hey don't mind me i'm just gonna conquer you but i'm first gonna walk through your territory and let's go into china their military might not all be here too which is going to be a, a big bonus for us if it's not because we can piecemeal it but that might be it yep that was their entire army okay great we lost a good amount of troops doing it did we really lose that many troops we did we had like 50 million but most of it was tied up in, mil in militia to be fair so we'll just keep building up a replacement army and with the money that we're getting from china and the population we're getting from china we should really be able to roll through them Ooh, and freaking New Zealand's here. Or is this Australia? Australia. Let's go down here and get Thailand. Or, yeah, Taiwan. Grab that. Hopefully, you guys won't be too interested. Yeah, they're getting smoshed by the Chinese rebels. But I don't like sharing. I recreated the Soviet Union, the Mongolian Empire. Nice. Ooh, what do we need for social... Okay. And we can finally get a level of self-sufficient economy. Boom. That's going to help us out a lot. Our exchange rate still 68%, even though we've attacked China. Ooh, that was a big army that just came over. Completely missed that. That wiped most of our army. Let's try and regroup a little bit i think that was a chinese army that came over so let's keep everybody together a little bit cr crush these rebels but go proceed with a little bit more caution than we have been where's china invading us at oh there don't care now the incredibly valuable land of china has gone definitely connecting is going to be worth it i'm afraid to split this army again because we're so low like what's our military power we're still second in the world but i mean we we got blitzed out of an entire army in a second I'm afraid of that happening again oh russia fell we missed out on that but honestly china's still a better priority we get another level of self-sufficient economy finish that up great news and then our second army is finally ready we can start deploying them let's go ahead and clear them out have them work down south missing out on russia did suck it strengthens germany who's a hard target indonesia we can always get but they don't have tons of valuable land it's mostly turkey and germany who have the valuable land so that's going to be a hard one to overcome Okay, this army is ready good we got another army let's send you out and what's our total military at 69,000, which is great we don't have a lot of our strength in tanks which is ironic most of our strength is coming from our commandos because we can recruit 549 in a single tick which is just great Ooh, but germany's trying to get involved in china now let's go ahead and try and stop start blocking them go up north a little bit Ooh, we can get another level of remittance let's grab that how are we doing on this army they just need rockets and they'll be ready to deploy we finished up most of china still have some africa holdings which i'm honestly not too keen on grabbing if anything i kind of want to turn my vengeance on indonesia or maybe start working through germany and france before they build up too quickly that would involve attacking the entirety of the eu 
Like, what's your diplomacy? Are you friends with the United States is all I really care about. No, they're not. Okay. I don't know if it's jumping the shark to attack. If we should go after like an Indonesia first, but Germany's just so weak right now. They have a lot of valuable land. Here, can you go grab that? Great. And we have more money oh, for a second military to go out or at least start working on it. United States is really going ham. They have 56 million in firepower, but most of it's wrapped up in commandos, which are going to fall pretty quickly. How much do we have at this point? 134. I think it's time. I think we get this army done. We'll get another round of tanks and rockets, and I think we go into them. But let's uh, let's go ahead and peace out with China. Get rid of their rebels for the most part. Start bringing our military over to the United States to get ready to go to war with them. Honestly, though, no. Let's fight Germany. No, let's fight the United States. My moment of hesitation was that Germany has a lot of valuable land that we're going to need to get. But at some point, we're still going to need to fight down the United States. So it might as well be now while they have a lot of their troops dispersed and we can quickly strike at them. There we go. Here's our full army. Let's go ahead and go straight into the United States. Yeah, and we're just going to be able to piecemeal their army right there. They're going to be dropping pretty heavily. A lot of their troops are even in our territories. A few people did declare war on us. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Let's go with uh, Turkey first. Don't have enough. South Africa. We do have enough. Greece? No. Denmark? No. Luxembourg? No. Azerbaijan? Sure. I think we could get them, right? Yep. Okay, we can afford that. Great. All right, let's grab Chicago and then start heading down south. All right, United States is down to 16 million. We can definitely split. Let's go ahead at least once. Let's do that. Start grabbing the rest of Florida. And they're out of troops. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and split again into fours this time and really start to run this home. Okay, new army is ready. Let's go ahead and take this one. Start fighting down their Malaysia holdings and start ramping up for another army. Canada has declared war on us as well. Can't buy them off. They want like 600 million, but we'll be able to fight them down slowly. Let's go backwards a little bit so this doesn't become a big problem and try and push a little bit separate so that we don't all go in the same directions okay world record is 2130 we need eight percent let's figure out where we can get eight percent from fast so that'd be france the united states we could keep going into or germany germany has declared war on us fighting germany would be a little bit of a pain in the butt i think the answer is probably the united states has a lot of territories the only problem indonesia could be an option they only have 15 million. This one army here has got enough. Let's start fighting Indonesia in addition. Let's bring another army down too. And then one more army will have fight the Philippines, the United States holdings in the Philippines. And hopefully this army will be ready soon. It's still got a way to go. We just started it. Ooh, we lost that army. That's not good. Oof, we have been humbled. Um, we can go get some of this stuff back here. We've lost basically all of our armies at this point. We have been drastically humbled by the world, but we only need seven more percent. This army will, this new army that's not even done is our biggest army. Okay, this new army is our only army. We've lost everything. As soon as these rockets are done, I'm just going to splinter them out and tell them to go everywhere in Indonesia. We need 3%. It's a big risk, but we're going to do it. Ooh, this is the weakest army we've ever had in an endgame, but we just need 2%. We're getting there. It's a, it's a big risk though. Oh, buddy. We're at 99%. Come on. We're so close. We're so close. We have to be able to get this. You, um, splinter, 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 splinter more, splinter more. Oh, oh, thank God. <laughs> That's a world record. We lost our entire military at the end. If we didn't win it right there, we probably would have lost the game over outright. Well, thank you guys so much for the suggestion. Let's check out the leaderboard. Laos, world record right there. Let's go. Oh, that was a rough one. Well, thank you for the suggestion. If you enjoyed today's video, hey, make sure to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put videos every day, but boys. I will see you in the next one.